This is Acting in Focus, and I'm Vivian Copsinger Birchall, your host. And my our virtual studio guests today are Trisha and Tara from the duo Trisha and Tara. Welcome to Acting in Focus. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much. Trisha and Tara are amazing musicians in our local town of Acton and beyond. Uh, but since this is about Acton, um, we'd like to get to know them a little better. So what are your full names and what grades are you in? So I'm Trisha Iyer. I am 15 years old and I am a freshman freshman at Hackton Boxborough Regional High School. And I'm Tara. I go to RJ Gray. I'm 12 years old, almost turning 13. And yeah. Aww. All right. So what inspired you guys to get into music? Well, I guess um, uh, Trisha took piano lessons and music lessons first. And then I remember my mom telling me that I was always in her classes and I was just humming a tune. And then I would always want to take lessons. So she signed me up as well. Yeah, so I was with the piano teacher first. And then for some reason, we kind of switched over to a singing and uh, piano teacher. And we really liked the way her teaching style and how she just explained everything to us. So I got interested in that. And yeah, but like Dara said, she joined. And when it comes to, um, to music, what kind of music are you into? Well, both of us are probably most into pop. Mm -hmm. We've been, we've experienced so many different genres and cause we started off with musical theater and then yeah. kind of went to classical music. And then so we started moving into rock, but then after we did all those types of genres of music, we figured out that pop was really our passion. You've done yeah. rock? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what is, so pop is your favorite, right? Yes. Um, and you guys are also music writers. Mm -hmm. Yes. How did you get into the writing music? So when we lived in Chicago about a couple of years ago, my dad challenged me to actually write a song and I was like, okay, that's actually kind of cool. I don't know. I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to start it. But so I went to my music teacher and she was like, oh, you want to write a song? That's so cool. So then she was like asking me about what do you want to write about? Like, or what's going on at school? And I was like, well, there's this guy who's really bothering me. You know, he's um, kind of in my space. And I would say to him, stop popping my bubble. Uh, and she was like, oh, well, that's your chorus right there. Stop popping my bubble. I'm done being subtle. So that's how my first song started. It's called Stay Out of My Personal Space. And actually, I got inspired from her to write my own song because I was like, if she can write one, then I can too. <laughs> so I didn't really know what to write about. So I searched up some quotes and then I came across one and it's like, believe in yourself. So I wrote a song called I Believe. And one of the lyrics in there is called, if you can survive a jellyfish sting, then you can survive anything. And I actually got stung by a jellyfish. And that <laughs> sentence is true. <laughs> oh my gosh, those are incredible stories. And thanks to dad for pushing the limits, you know, <laughs> go dad. <laughs> so what instruments do you guys play? Well, I play the piano, baritone ukulele, and guitar. Yeah, and I play the piano and the baritone ukulele, and obviously we sing. <laughs> and what are your favorite instruments to play? Well, for me, I would say piano because I feel like I've grown as a pianist over like the years I've been playing, and it's just so much fun for me because now I can like come up with chord progressions and just like learn melodies like on the spot really quickly and like before I never could do that so I feel like it's really a bit of change. Yeah and I like playing the baritone ukulele and the piano but um, your voice is considered an instrument and so I would say that singing is my passion that's what I like most so yeah my voice is my favorite instrument. Well, coolness. And you ladies have had some opening up acts, right? Can you tell us about that? So we have performed, we've opened up for like two artists before. One of them was in Chicago um, at a Wilmot Beach Bash for a drummer and we performed with Mike, uh, Mike's fan, fantastic band. And yeah, that was super fun. 
And the other one was pretty recently, it was for Edie Carey. Yeah, it was um, during the pandemic and it was really fun to open for her because she travels the world and it was really cool. And she has like a great voice. She's so nice. She's super talented. Yeah. Yeah. And do you girls plan to have a concert soon? Um, for like ourselves, like with yeah, our- Yeah, for yourselves. Music? I mean, yes, it's a possibility. I mean, we haven't talked about it, but that's definitely a possibility to do, yeah. All right, tell us about your YouTube channel so that uh, some of us who are emerging fans can get to that. <laughs> <laughs> we started this, I think, in March. Yeah, yeah, during the whole pandemic thing. We were like, hey, that's something interesting. That we yeah, because it was very boring. Like, school is not like the regular school, like, um, mm. getting a lot of homework so we thought it would be cool to have a YouTube channel and like um, put our music out there because it covers yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of work that goes behind doing it because we have to make the music for it we have to memorize the lyrics and then we have to film the video and then Dara edits all the videos and puts them together and cool yeah. there's a process that goes behind it but at the end it's really worth it and super fun to do that's amazing. And uh, where do you record your music from? Uh, we record it um, at home here in this room, <laughs> actually. And we're, we do it on GarageBand. And it's, it's um, a program where you can, like, I'm sure everybody knows this probably, but it's really fun to, like, um, experience with it because we didn't know much about the program GarageBand, but once we got used to it, we figured out more things and it was, it, the music got better and better because we figured out more. Yeah, there was a lot of research that went behind it to figure out what exactly we had to do, how to create songs through GarageBand. So you basically can like record your like different instrument tracks and you can mix them together. So that's what we were trying to do over the summer too. I asked your mom for permission to share uh, little videos from when you started playing musical instruments. I, uh, yeah. So at what point did you realize music was going to be a huge part of your lives? I think once... Or your teenage lives, at least. Yeah, I think when Trisha signed up for it, that's when I knew, oh, I think music is going to be it. And then once I got more into mm -hmm. singing and piano, then music gradually like was getting bigger for me. And then I picked up other instruments, which also- Yeah, I mean, most of our extracurricular activities too were just music related, like taking piano lessons, singing lessons. So that's when we figured out music was gonna be a big part of our lives. So if there are any other young people out there who, who have been thinking about uh, starting a musical path, uh, what advice would you give these people? Um, you should definitely do it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you should definitely pursue music with something that you're interested in just follow your dreams um, and yeah yeah like she said follow your dreams because and then at the end of the day it's really what you believe that will make you happy <laughs> yeah and one of the reasons I asked that question is because you have mentioned there's a lot of work that goes on in the you know before the final product is out there mm -hmm. so um, what keeps you going even when the work is a lot I think because we know that if you work harder, the product will end up better. So we just push ourselves to, because if we take like two minutes or like, I don't know, <laughs> this is a small example. If we take two minutes to do a project and it's like, okay, we'll do a lot more to make it a better project. And we also think of how others will see this, not just us, because for some of the videos, um, when you watch it, like, the audience won't really know what's going on, but we will because we, we're the ones who made it. So we need to think about that too. Right. Well, I am so excited to have you as my guest today to tell, share your experiences with me and with us as Acton and also with a wider audience. And um, thank you for featuring in some of my Whitefield episodes. It's been a pleasure and I look very forward to uh, working with you again, collaborating some more. Well, thank you very much. For yeah, thank you for having us here. <laughs> yeah, so that we you could continue bringing smiles on people's faces because you're doing <laughs> that. <laughs> okay, this is Trisha and Tara. They are our local students here in Acton, and they are amazing musicians. If you want to support them, go to their YouTube channel and follow, like it, comment. Um, 
And uh, is there any other platform that you use? Yeah, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. At it's uh, you can find us at Trisha and Thara. <laughs> yeah, and we also released a single in on December fourth, so you can also check that out. On it's all. called You Used to. Yeah, be. <laughs> and yeah, bum, bum, yeah. Bum, bum, iTunes, everything. <laughs> it's an amazing track. So I hope mm -hmm. uh, as a community we can support this young people to you know to excel. And thank you for watching Acton in Focus. Till next time. In the sea, you're true.